If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own first before listening on. We'll go ahead and first draw a picture of this oil drop. And then we will draw the forces that are acting on the drop. Now perhaps the most obvious force is the gravitational force, which is pulling the oil drop straight down. And we can label this gravitational force as being mg. Now the question notes that this oil drop is held at rest between two large plates. So because there is a downward gravitational force and the oil drop is held at rest, there must be another force that's acting in the opposite direction to balance out this gravitational force. So we can determine that there is some upward force whose magnitude is exactly equal to mg. Now, what is this force? Well, it's going to turn out to be an electrostatic force, which we can call Fe. And we know that because the oil drop is located between two plates. And those plates are producing an electric field, which actually creates an electric force acting on the oil droplet. Now, it turns out that electric force can be equal to the electric field multiplied by the charge, which we can use Q to represent. And as stated, these two forces are equal in magnitude. So we're going to take the electrostatic force and set it equal to the gravitational force. And it turns out that the electric field can be rewritten in terms of electric potential. And to understand that, we have to note that electric potential is equal to the electric field times the distance between two given points. And what we'll do is solve this equation for the electric field. And to do that, we'll divide both sides by the distance d. And so we can see that electric field is equal to the electric potential divided by a distance. We're going to substitute this expression in here for the electric field. Now at this point, we can plug in some of the known values. We have the electric potential, which is symbolized by v, given to be 340 volts. We have the distance between the two plates given as one centimeter. Note that you'll have to change that into meters by multiplying by 10 to the minus two. And then we have the mass of the oil drop, which is given to us. And then of course, gravity is 9.8. So let's go ahead and plug in everything we know. Now, if we simplify on the left side, we're going to have 34,000 times Q. And then on the right side, we have 2.744 times 10 to the minus 14th. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 34,000. And when you do that, you should get approximately 8.07 times 10 to the minus 19. Now let's remember that Q represents the charge of whatever object is in the question, in this case, the oil drop. And charge is measured in a standard unit of coulombs. Now we're not done yet because the question wants us to determine the number of excess electrons on the oil drop. But it turns out that we can convert this charge into a number of electrons. So that's our next step. And to do that, we, si we simply have to note that one electron will carry a magnitude of charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. And so when you multiply these two numbers together, the coulombs are going to cancel out. And you end up with approximately five. And so this is the number of excess electrons present on the oil droplet. Keep in mind when you make this computation, you're actually multiplying by one divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So in essence, you're dividing this red number by the green number. And so you should get five as the final answer. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe so you could stay tuned for other videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen and I'll do my best to post the answer to it on YouTube.